When someone is interested in receiving communication services, they should first have a meeting with their team. At that point, if the team is in agreement that it would be beneficial for that individual, their supports coordinator would submit a referral to us for a communication assessment. A communication assessment is an assessment in which we look at the individual's functional communication, and then as a team, we create communication goals for that individual. In the communication assessment, I would recommend a no-tech option, typically of picture cards, to start implementing in an individual's current day, um, day routine and day program or at their home. This gives us an opportunity to take a look at the individual's access methods and their understanding of a communication system. The initial case history meeting takes about an hour um, and then we would follow that up with observations and data collection on the no-tech um, options that are recommended. And that would go out for, I'd say, anywhere from two to four weeks. At that point then, we would either continue on with the no-tech option, if that is working for an individual, or if we think that they need a more robust system, then we would look into trialing something more higher tech. So some high-tech devices would be dependent on an individual's access method and their understanding of the system. Um, we are familiar with using PRC systems, which would be for individuals who um, would be using eye gaze and head tracking and even some direct selection. We do also use um, Saltillo products, and that would also be for head tracking and for direct selection. Um, we also use some iPad apps that we can download and help with um, training an individual and organizing those apps to make it more personalized for them. We also use um, Dynavox products with some of our individuals um, and that would be for our individuals who have a background with some literacy and um, are able to use direct selection and eye case.